And let's do a git clone. Let's go ahead and grab a new API token from Cloudflare, create token, and then we're gonna copy this. And so all that's doing is just saying, hey, for everything with this wildcard, local and tail, just go ahead and redirect that to HTTPS and then uh, enable web socket. So this is all gonna get inherited by the location down here. So if I look at the web socket, you can see the web socket. We start this and here we go. We got it working with just regular Nginx. So we can do the same thing with tail scale. If I go to tail scale, okay, it looks like I am still connected. If I go back to my DNS records, add a record. It's going to be star dot tail, and then I'll put the tail scale IP address there. Dot tail. Okay, and that is working too. Call it reload. So hot reload of nginx after cert renewal, and then we just have the image over Cloudflare tunnel. Okay, and that is running through the Cloudflare tunnel. So we're not getting it. So let me add two one here. And then now let's do a hot reload. Let's open up the access log. Okay, and now I am actually seeing my real IP address. So that's what I wanted to see. Welcome back guys. If you saw my local HTTPS tutorial, which I used Nginx proxy manager combined with the Cloudflare DNS plugin that it already kind of has installed into it uh, to fetch SSL certificates for domains that resolve to the local IP of my server as well as the tail scale IP of my server so that I have domain names with trusted certs, no browser warnings, anything like that. So if I come into my Nginx proxy manager user interface, I can click on my image.local.willabiesmedia.com and this just works with HTTPS. It's only, accessible on my local network or if I'm uh, using a VPN. I also have image.tail.wildebeastmedia.com and image.wildebeastmedia.com. Uh, the tail obviously is only accessible on the tail net, so that works wherever I am, as long as I have the tail scale app installed. And the image.wildebeastmedia.com is just used by Cloudflare Tunnel, and I'm not even using the uh, SSL cert for it. But I want to show you how to do this with just regular Nginx. So that's what this tutorial is going to be doing. It's very simple. All you have to do is clone my repository and then you can create your proxy host in there. So I'm kind of showing you how to migrate from Nginx proxy manager to Nginx in this tutorial while also showing you how to use the CertBot plugin in Nginx with the Cloudflare DNS plugin because we have to use the DNS challenge. It's one of the convenient things about Nginx Proxy Manager is that it has the uh, Cloudflare DNS plugin already built in, but as I'll show you, there's a CertBot image, Docker image with the Cloudflare DNS plugin already built into it. So let's check it out. So we know that um, this is already working with Nginx Proxy Manager. Now I have a few applications installed on this server. Um, Nginx Proxy Manager, obviously I have Portainer and I have Image already installed. I'm not gonna go into detail on installing those. Um, you can look at that previous local HTTPS tutorial to get those applications installed. What I'm more concerned about is just cloning that Nginx uh, project that I was talking about. So. Let's head over to GitHub. The link will be in the description. Uh, but basically, I'm just going to clone this repository and I'll show it to you here. So I'm going to go and grab this. And then let me see up out of here into my Docker container or my Docker um, folder, I should say. And let's do a git clone. Okay, and then let's just rename this to just Nginx. We don't need all of that there. Okay, so the main thing, let's take a look at the Docker Compose. We have two containers. One is Nginx. 
Nothing crazy about this. We have the uh, main config file where we have our proxy host defined. That's kind of like the Nginx proxy manager proxy host page. And then it needs to share the bind mounts with the cert bot container um, so that it can grab those SSL certs that it refers to in the um, server blocks. I'm gonna also persist the logs, of course, so that I can see the Nginx logs. And then we are also just going to um, have another folder where we can put reusable config files for Nginx. This just makes our Nginx config file so clean when we can have reusable config files. And I already have a bunch in here, a um, global one that sees it. You don't even have to really worry about these too much, but HSTS, there's proxy headers that you're gonna wanna use in each of your hosts. Uh, real IP from Cloudflare proxy and the real IP from Cloudflare tunnel running in Docker, and then just the WebSocket config. So that way you just only have to do one line in your Nginx config file. Now, the uh, more important part is the cert bot container here. And you can see that I'm using the cert bot DNS Cloudflare. So this is convenient because it's gonna have that DNS challenge already built into it with Cloudflare. All we have to do is provide this cloudflare.ini and we just need to put that API token there. And then we are good to go. So let's go ahead and grab a new API token from Cloudflare. So I'm gonna go to Cloudflare, search for API token, and then just go to profile settings, API tokens. And then so I already have one for my last tutorial here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new one edit zone DNS. And then we're just gonna select the um, domain that we're gonna use. So this is, I only need it for multibusemedia.com. Um, and then I'm gonna hit continue to summary, create token, and then we're gonna copy this token. Okay, so that's our Cloudflare DNS token. Um, I did the exact same thing with my other HTTPS tutorial. So we're gonna get that. And then we're gonna look at that ENB file. So go ahead and rename this to just .env. And then we are going to change this to dot, uh, we got the wildcard. This is gonna be for a wildcard cert. Change the, my domain. So I'm gonna change it to wildebeest media for wildcard local, as well as just the local, if I wanna have something on local. And then the uh, DNS record's correct. So let's go to DNS, wildebeestmedia.com, DNS, and then that local is gonna to go to the IP address of the, the local IP address of the server. So I already created this A record. You would just go to add record A and then wildcard.local and then the local IP address of your server. Okay, and before we start, let's also look at the Nginx config file. So we have um, some basic settings up here. And then I have kind of the global uh, kind of security settings for Nginx here, uh, log format and the access log declaration. And then you have your basic HTTP to HTTPS redirect. So let me just kind of close that off here. And so all that's doing is just saying, hey, for everything with this wildcard, local and tail, just go ahead and redirect that to HTTPS, use port uh, 443, okay? So that's just an easy redirect block we can use for all of those server names. So for image, we are going to do wildebeestmedia.com like that and like that. And the cert is going to be under the first domain that we provide. So that's gonna be the local. So we're just going to keep that as local and then just change that to wildebeestmedia.com. And then we have a HSTS enabled um, basic proxy headers. So take a look at that. That's just basically setting the host, remote address, just everything that you would normally do with Nginx and then uh, enable web socket. So this is all gonna get inherited by the location down here. So if I look at the web socket, you can see the web socket. You know, I don't really like having to specify that for every single 
uh, block. So that's where the reusable config files come in handy. And then we just have the image over Cloudflare tunnel, which is just the image.wildebeestmedia.com. And this is just listening on port 80. So no redirect for this. I uh, don't really need to with the Cloudflare tunnel. So that all looks good. The first thing that we're gonna do is start the cert bot container. So let's CD into Nginx and let's just go ahead and pull the images. So do docker compose pull. Okay, and then we're gonna create both of the containers. We don't wanna start Nginx yet because we need to create this the cert first. So we're gonna do docker compose start cert bot that's going to pull the uh cert for us that's the ssl cert okay uh no logs in the cert bot so probably should be good here so let's um go ahead and start up the rest of the containers so that's going to be pseudo docker compose up d okay and both appear to be running correctly so I can look at the logs here i went ahead and put that loop in there so now it's just checking to see if it needs a new cert, it says it's not due for renewal, so that's fine. Nginx, you can look at the logs there, and this time no error. So let's see if we can restart this, and here we go. We got it working with just regular Nginx. So we can do the same thing with tail scale. I go to tail scale. Okay, it looks like I am still connected. If you need to install again, just go to add device, Linux server. It'll generate a script for you and then just run that on your server. Otherwise, let's create a DNS record for this IP address. So I'm gonna go back to my DNS records, add a record, this is gonna be star dot tail. And then I'll put the tail scale IP address there. Hit save. And I'll go ahead and add those domains to the same cert. This expand flag is basically gonna expand the cert to incorporate the other domain names. So same cert, it's just gonna be expanded now. So let's go ahead and I'll take this back down. Let's take this back up, check portainer here. Okay, so certbot is running. Okay, and then you may wanna go ahead and hot reload the Nginx config. Let's just make sure that I have that other domain here. So basically another alias for the same proxy host. So I don't really need to add an additional proxy host. So that's fine. Have our redirect and our proxy host. I'm gonna go to the readme here and let's go ahead and just do a hot reload of Nginx here. So let's do a sudo. Okay, so we know that this is working. Let's try it with the tail. That tail. Okay, and that is working too. So that's only because I'm on the tail scale network. If I disabled that, then I wouldn't be able to use that domain. But this is what I really like to use with my mobile phone with image because I have tail scale installed and that domain is just always going to work even if I'm on the mobile network. Now, when a SSL cert does get renewed eventually, um, like 30 days before it expires, after 90 days, you will need to do the hot reload of Nginx. And you can follow my readme here for creating a timer and service, but I kind of wanted to show you how to do it with cockpit. So first let's just do a apt update and then let's do a sudo apt install cockpit and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the cockpit storage as well. Throw the yes flag in there. And then I'll, let's just enable with sudo system ctl enable now cockpit.socket. Okay, so that's just gonna be running on port 9090. And then we're gonna trust its self-signed cert. So let's log in. And then let's go ahead and turn on administrative access. So this is basically like a pseudo su. And then we're just gonna go to services, go to timers. 
and go create timer. So we're gonna say nginx, call it reload. So hot reload of nginx after cert renewal. And then look at that. Um, so basically you need to declare the full path to Docker and then just exe nginx for the, that's the nginx container and then the nginx command s reload. And then repeat, we'll do on the daily at uh, 2 a.m. and hit save. Okay. And then now I basically see that nginx reload timer and I see that it triggers the Nginx reload service. You can see where that service is located. So if I were to create this manually, I would do it at that same location and we can nano that. Let's try that again. Make sure that's on the same line. So you can see that uh, we just basically have a description and a service block and we're just running that reload command. And that is about it. While we're at it, let's just see if our Cloudflare tunnel is still up and running. Let me see. Okay, the tunnel is running. Let's see, let's just go to Cloudflare and make sure. So zero trust, go to networks, tunnels. Okay, and then I do have my tunnel up and running. So let's try going to image dot wildebeestmedia.com. Okay, and that is running through the Cloudflare tunnel. I'm sorry, I didn't really go over how to set that up in this video, but I do that in the video right up here, how to set up Cloudflare tunnel and route it to your Nginx. So watch that to get set up with tunnel, but all you do is just basically, you're gonna go in here, create a new tunnel, after you create that tunnel, you're going to set up a host name, however many hosts you want to route. If I go to configure public host name, so you can see I have image.wildebeestmedia.com routing to that uh, server IP address. So the question is, am I getting the real IP? And hopefully I am with this include from Docker tunnel. So let's look at our Nginx logs real quick. Okay, so the real IP from Cloudflare tunnel, I set it to these uh, IP addresses and yet from the access logs, we're actually at 172.21. So we're not getting it. So let me add 21 here. And then now let's do a hot reload. So again, that's just this command, sudo. Okay, hot reloaded. Let's try hitting our image site again. Let's just go check out this photo. Let's open up the access log. Okay, and now I am actually seeing my real IP address. So that's what I wanted to see. Okay guys, now you know how to use regular Nginx to get uh, SSL certs for local um, domains or domains that are used over your tail scale network as well. Uh, and you can effectively transition from Nginx Proxy Manager over to Nginx if you would like. There are a number of benefits um, and make sure to subscribe because my next video, I'm gonna show you how to block unwanted countries. And even if you're using Cloudflare Tunnel, even if you've got zero trust set up, still might as well kind of take security into your own hands. So look for that tutorial. I'm gonna use a VPN and test out coming in from other countries. So I will see you next time.